Well, hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show you an enhanced, a little enhanced version of the ropes I have for you. So I'm going to use this project, but I'm going to delete everything from this project, so it will be clean, empty project. And I'm going to import this Unity package rope.js into my project. So this package will be available on Dropbox for everyone to use. So it contains only one script and prefab. Let's import them all into our project. What you have to do, you have to drag and drop this prefab into your scene and it doesn't matter it's uh, uh, in the play mode or not in play mode but I highly recommend it to I mean not highly strongly recommend it to use it in play mode so it will be really good looking so let's just hit play button and let's drag and drop this guy into our scene and here we go we have it just so easy, just drag and drop and you have it. And let's just drag another rope into our scene. Right, so we have two ropes. Let, let's just say we want uh, to have them connected to each other. You know, just like on a ship, just like on, you know, something else. So I just select um, a main parent object of my rope. You can see it here. Then I slide down to connect to a variable and I drag and drop actually I will connect this object to some of uh, four you know to one of four connection points so let's just hit this one and you can see that now I can move them together so it can be used for ships on a sea on the ocean right so two uh, two ropes are working together so actually you can create more ropes especially you know it should be mentioned that uh, unity increased number of rigid bodies for mobile devices so it's quite good yeah, so you can see in here also, you can import here um, wind dot rigid body unity package, and we will actually try this. Okay, cannot import package in play mode. Okay, let's then import this package not in play mode. So I will show you how it's working with wind rigid body. Clear. Okay, let's. Then hit play button again. Let's drag and drop uh, rope prefab. This prefab also, and let's connect them together. Okay, now they are connected. Now let's drag and drop uh, wind rigid body. Zero, zero, zero. Remote controller. And you can see that wind is affecting our uh, our rigid bodies. You can see this wind. You can actually rotate this like this. And the wind will be rotating your ropes. You can see it here. So ropes and uh, wind are working good now. You can see it here. Let's just make uh, you know this force bigger. And now it's you know it's uh, like our ship is moving very fast, and the ropes are moving together with our ship. You can see. And now let's uh, move uh, one of our ropes. Not you this one
and the wind is affecting our ropes you can see it here let's increase uh, let's just make uh, three ropes three ropes so this this one let's add another okay now let's have a look at okay connect to let's connect to first one and now we have three ropes three ropes I don't actually remember which rope is main yeah this rope is main I should rename it to main okay so I will know which rope is main and now let's uh, change strength of the wind from 10 to let's just say 30 now we have crazy wind almost crazy oh, 45 from 20 and now we are going to control only wind you can see it here so rope are affected by wind you can see this uh, this crazy stuff is happening because they are colliding they are located uh, too close to each other ropes so I should uh, move uh, this little bit far away from here like this and also I should change the strength of the wind because the wind is extremely not stable for them so optimal value is 30 for the wind so you can see it here so it's optimal value of course you know sometimes you can see this uh, uh, this twitching but it's okay for it and it, you know rope even you know is connected you know so two ropes now are now connected to each other just like you know in human body you know this um, blood lines or you know this something like this arterias arterias this is how ropes are working now let's just uh, change direction of the wind suddenly Ooh. okay not so suddenly not so suddenly let's just make it from 10 no from from 10 to uh, 20 okay still we have this crazy weird stuff happening but anyway it's just a stress test and you can see that it's now working much better so stabilized now working much better so you should not change wind direction too fast because I noticed that both in wind uh, you know this rigid body and rope GS sudden changes in physics you know the physics are not good for uh, for engine so the engine cannot catch the moment when it should be changed so making all this smooth you know smooth like this and it and if you are smooth in your changes it will be correct so yeah you can see it here so the package is available in description thanks for watching have a good time bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye bye